Here's the app store within Nextcloud. So there's like layers on layers for this. There's apps within Umbrella, there's apps within Nextcloud. Hey, I'm Lana Lux. I'm a Linode developer advocate. And today we're gonna to be talking about setting up Nextcloud on Umbrella using Linode. Nextcloud is a self-hosted productivity platform. It gives you the ability to host email, have contact lists, calendars, um, schedule meetings. It allows you to conduct meetings through video calls through it. Um, you can also just chat through it if you prefer. You can do photo and document editing. It supports Word documents, PDFs. You can even em edit images. You can store and manage your images. Um, so there's a lot that you can do with Nextcloud and it can be a really helpful platform to work with. If you or your company care about who has access to which data, then this could be a great option for you. You can set up users and groups to control the access and that way your system manages it in-house or you can manage it personally, of course. This means you know where your data is, who has access to it and how it's being used. If you set this up using Umbrella like we're doing today, you can have access to it from any device at any time. You can also sync your desktop and mobile if you like. There's also versioning so you can have backups of your data and you can undelete if you need to. On top of all of that, it's free and open source, so a pretty cool option. Let's get into how to set it up. Setting up Umbrella on Linode is the first step in this process, so if you haven't done that yet, check out the link in the description and you can find that video to get that step done. All right, the first thing we're going to do is head to linode.com and either log in or sign up if you don't have an account. If you don't have an account, make sure to hit the link in the description of this video where you can get $100 credit on your account for the new signup. Once we're logged in, you have a list of your Linodes. Um, select the one that you just installed Umbrella on from the previous step. And mine is right here. This is a fresh install. And find the IP address of that Linode. We're gonna copy that and paste it into our browser. So here we are, there's not much happening yet. But in the App Store here, or from down below, we can find the apps we're looking for. Let's find Nextcloud on the list. Here we find it near the top and hit Install. Doesn't take very long, but give it a minute. Great, it's all set. Let's open that up. You can either open it from here or from your dashboard here. Now, here's a tricky step. Um, it's being blocked. Uh, so we need to find our config file here, um, which we are going to do in uh, back in Linode. So from here, we're going to launch Lish console and we're going to type in find dash iname config.php. Oops, I spelled that wrong, config.php. There we go. So now it's listing the places where we can find it. This is the one we're looking for based on the info from the, the page on the browser. So we're going to navigate to that, um, just typing a CD and then the path here. Data, next, cloud, config. There we go. It doesn't show much, but if you type LS, it'll list the files in that folder. We're looking for config.php. We want to edit it. So we're going to use a command called nano um, in order to bring that up. So nano config.php. So here it is. Okay, so in this file, we want to scroll down. You can use your arrow keys or your mouse, and we're going to look for the trusted domains. And this is where we want to add one to this array uh, that includes the IP of our Linode. So let's go to this. So I'm gonna add four, and our IP here is right there. And comma at the end. And now you can click Control X, save it, yes, and write name to file, enter, and we're good to go. That's it. If you are using a custom domain, you can also add that to the list of trusted domains here, but that's gonna be outside the scope of this video. So now we can go back to Umbrel and open up Nextcloud, and now it's letting us log in. In order to log in, we're actually gonna head back a step here. And in our app store, there is a default username and password to log into it. So we're gonna remember that the username is Umbrel and then we're gonna copy the password. And here we're gonna put in Umbrel and the password, log in. 
And here we are, logged in and set up. Here's some information on it, which you can go through in order to get familiar. And here's our dashboard. Okay, now we've got a new password set up. We can also go here and put in your name and you can put in your email or any other info that you wanna to add to your server. Great, now it says my name when we're here and um, you can go ahead and set up like different widgets. Uh, you can remove which things, recommended files. You can have only the things you want. And there's a whole bunch of different apps that you can set up. Let's let's look at them. Here's the app store within Nextcloud. So there's like layers on layers for this. There's apps within Umbra, there's apps within Nextcloud. Uh, you can find some really interesting stuff here. Like you can keep or swap photos kind of thing. You can have um, analytics. You can set up GitHub integration, GitLab integration. Uh, there's just many, many different files that can be, uh, sorry, that can be, there's many, many different apps that can be set up here. Nextcloud is a really cool platform that allows many different ways to use it. Uh, hopefully this was a helpful and informative video on getting you set up with that. If this was interesting and you want to set up other apps using Umbrella and Linode, definitely come on back, check out the other videos and hit subscribe. We're going to be making a few different videos on setting up apps with Umbrella and Linode. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.